Welcome to K-Zone. Today, we will share about the last chapter, Hitler's body after death, truth or legend? Let's start. The fate of Adolf Hitler's body after his death remains a subject of intrigue and controversy, even decades after the end of World War II. Adolf Hitler, the dictator of Nazi Germany, took his own life in his underground bunker in Berlin on April 30, 1945, as Allied forces closed in on the city. The circumstances surrounding his death, the disposal of his body, and the subsequent handling of his remains have been shrouded in secrecy and speculation. In this article, we will delve into the events that unfolded after Hitler's death and explore the various theories and historical accounts regarding the disposal of his body. On April 30, 1945, Adolf Hitler and his longtime companion, Eva Braun, took their lives in the Führerbunker, an underground bunker beneath the Reich Chancellery in Berlin. Hitler ingested a cyanide capsule and simultaneously shot himself, while Eva Braun also took cyanide. These acts marked the end of their lives, but the beginning of a complex and secretive chapter in history. Shortly after Hitler's death, his personal aides, including Joseph Goebbels and Martin Bormann, wrapped the bodies of Hitler and Eva Braun in blankets. They carried the lifeless remains to the garden above the bunker, where they poured petrol over them and set them on fire in an attempt to destroy the bodies. The burning, however, was incomplete, and the remains were only partially consumed. The events that followed Hitler's death have been the subject of debate and controversy. Several factors contribute to the discrepancies in accounts and theories. The Soviet army captured the Reich Chancellery, and Soviet troops were the first to enter the Führerbunker. The Soviets claimed to have found the partially burned remains of Hitler and Eva Braun, but their version of events has been met with skepticism by many historians due to a lack of conclusive evidence. The incomplete burning of the bodies, along with limited access to the site and the chaos of the time, left room for doubt. No comprehensive forensic examination of the remains was conducted immediately, making it difficult to conclusively establish the identity of the bodies. Over the years, various conspiracy theories have emerged, suggesting that Hitler did not die in the bunker but managed to escape to South America or another location. These theories often rely on a lack of concrete evidence regarding Hitler's remains as their basis. The Soviet authorities maintained that the remains found in the garden above the bunker belonged to Hitler and Eva Braun. They conducted an autopsy on the bodies and subsequently buried them in an unmarked grave in a forest near Magdeburg, Germany. The location was kept secret and the grave was later exhumed and the remains cremated, with the ashes scattered in the Biederitz River. The Soviet version of events remained the official account in the years following the war, but it was not without controversy. The lack of transparency and the secretive nature of the Soviet investigation led many to question its accuracy. Decades after the end of World War II, in 1970, construction workers in Magdeburg unearthed a set of charred remains. These remains were later identified as the ones initially buried by the Soviets. In 1993, the remains were subjected to forensic analysis. Mitochondrial DNA testing suggested that the remains belonged to Eva Braun, while other forensic tests concluded that they were consistent with the remains of Adolf Hitler. Another piece of evidence that adds weight to the Soviet account is the handling of Hitler's dental records. Hitler's dentist, Dr. Hugo Blaschke, had records of Hitler's dental work, 
which were captured by the Soviets. These records included detailed information about Hitler's dental condition and were eventually used to help confirm the identity of the remains. Despite the forensic analysis and the dental records, some individuals remain skeptical of the official account. They argue that the evidence is not entirely conclusive and that the possibility of Hitler having escaped cannot be ruled out completely. The incomplete burning of the bodies and the chaotic circumstances of the time provide room for alternative theories, although they lack robust evidence. Eva Braun's remains were found alongside Hitler's, and her story is entwined with his in this regard. It is widely accepted that Eva Braun died by suicide in the Führer bunker. Her remains were found and handled by the Soviets, and her identity was confirmed through DNA analysis on the remains found in Magdeburg. After the remains found in Magdeburg were confirmed to be those of Hitler and Eva Braun, the question arose of what to do with their ashes. In 2009, the Russian authorities publicly acknowledged that the remains were authentic, and it was decided to dispose of the ashes once and for all. In January 2010, the Russian government authorized the disposal of the ashes in a secretive and undisclosed location, with no public ceremony or memorial. The decision was intended to prevent any site from becoming a neo-Nazi shrine or a place of homage for Hitler's sympathizers. The mystery and controversy surrounding Hitler's death, the disposal of his body, and the subsequent handling of his remains have persisted for decades. While the forensic evidence and the dental records support the official account provided by the Soviet authorities, some individuals continue to question the veracity of these findings. The speculation and conspiracy theories surrounding Hitler's supposed escape or survival have kept the issue alive in popular culture and the media. Books, documentaries, and films exploring the topic have been produced over the years, adding to the intrigue and fascination with this historical enigma. The fate of Adolf Hitler's body after his death remains a subject of historical fascination and intrigue. The official account, supported by forensic analysis and dental records, suggests that Hitler and Eva Braun died in the Führerbunker in Berlin and that their remains were disposed of by the Soviet authorities. While this account is widely accepted by historians, alternative theories and skepticism persist, fueled by the incomplete burning of the bodies and the secretive nature of the Soviet investigation. The handling of Hitler's remains has been marked by secrecy and the desire to prevent any site from becoming a shrine for neo-Nazis. The decision to dispose of the ashes without public ceremony reflects the sensitivity and complexity of the issue. Despite the evidence that supports the official account, the legend of Hitler's escape and survival continues to captivate the public imagination. This enduring fascination underscores the importance of historical inquiry and the critical examination of evidence to understand the complex and controversial events of the past. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like, share and subscribe.